Those who have been following international news, especially in the field of defense or the arms industry, might have heard that the French have a new pistol. The French armed forces have been replacing their Mac 50s and Beretta 92Fs with what they call the new generation automatic pistol, or PANG. Um, this is just the Gen 5 Glock 17, in fact. And uh, since 2020, the French have been getting just under 75,000 of these for a total price of 44 million euros to the French taxpayer. And since 2021, this pistol has been available as a special run for the European civilian market under the name of Glock 17 Gen 5 FR Coyote. FR for France, obviously. So I recently got myself one of these and I realized that there's a lot of information available on YouTube on this model. That is in German, French, Italian, but not in English. I guess that is because it's not available in the US. Um, this is only available in Europe. And the only English speaking countries in Europe are the UK and Ireland. And in these two, uh, handguns are only available to civilians in Northern Ireland, nowhere else. So that might explain that. Anyway, I'm going to remedy this. Uh, just don't get too excited because it is just a Glock. Glock's MRSP for this model in Europe is around 760 euros, but you can get it for around 650-ish, at least here in Germany, which is uh, about what a normal Gen 5 would cost you. So what are you getting for 650 euros in 2021? Well, it's a Glock, so of course you're getting the carry case in the same color as the gun, and under the warm white artificial lighting I have here, this looks almost OD green-ish and in fact it is a bit darker than you would expect from pictures you see on the internet but under natural light it does look coyote fleck dark earth-ish. And in this carry case you will get two manual booklets in French, German, Spanish and English and that should just about do it for Europe, right? If you're European, you're bound to speak one of those four languages. Come on. The cleaning kit consisting of one cleaning rod with a hole for patches and one nylon chamber slash barrel brush that will screw into the front. The multifunctional clip that is also a punch and holds those four back straps in two different sizes with either beaver tail or no beaver tail, your choice. One replacement magazine, also in Coyote, with the magazine loader. And of course, the firearm itself. So we are talking about a Gen 5 Glock 17, right? Weighs 700 grams, has a 140mm barrel and a 17 round magazine. So how is this special run different from a normal Gen 5? Does it say France on there or something? Uh, no. But there are a few little things to point out if you're a collector or if you just enjoy buying a two-tone gun. Because that is obviously the first major difference. Right? It comes with the uh, Coyote or Flat Duck Earth Lower and the NDLC Coated Upper. So you've got this uh, light and dark two-tone theme going on. And uh, the color of this lower is not actually quite the same as uh, on the Glock 19X. So um, they, they molded that in a different color. Uh, the markings are not originally colored in white, I just did that myself with a marker because I think it looks good and this is my gun, so screw you. Um, the only other noticeable difference on this side is the lanyard loop, right? It comes standard equipped with a lanyard loop in place where the, the plug on the normal uh, Gen 5 grip would go. I guess the French like to safe tie their guns. And for 44 million euros, well, they just got the option to do that. 
Other than that, not much difference noticeable on this side of the gun. Um, however, one thing becomes apparent when you try putting it down flat onto the table, and it will just tip over on you. Which is that these things come with an extended slide stop lever. Which is not actually visible just by looking at it, but try to put it down flat and it uh, will roll over, which is why I keep this little Glock tool under it, so it shows up well on the camera. Um, right? So this is slightly longer than normal, I guess for a better grip with gloves. And if you actually try that, well, yeah, yeah, I guess, kind of. On the other side, we will find the usual uh, litany of markings, right, in various places. Um, yeah, I've covered up my serial number with a bit of tape, I'm sorry. Um, but that is actually fairly standard uh, for European handguns, because in most European countries, all parts of the gun are regulated, right? So they do not all have to have the same serial number, which in case of a complete gun like this usually is the case. Um, but they do all have to be serialized so they can be registered independently. Thankfully in, in Germany you just have to register a complete handgun once and not every part of it, because the Glock would have, well, three parts, right? Upper, lower and barrel, and that would be really annoying. Anyway, extended slide stop lever, usual Reversible, but not ambidextrous Mac release. 17 rounds. Coyote colored Gen 5 magazine with the orange magazine follower. We of course have the Austrian proof mark from the uh, Vienna proof house in different places, which means that this gun is CIP proofed and just at least it's uh, it's proofing is legal in all of Europe and it will meet uh, safety specifications in all CIP countries, which every Glock does. That's nothing special. And for the final difference between the French model and the standard Gen 5, these all come with luminescent steel sights. So these night sights, well, they are phosphorescent. Right? They're not radioluminescent, so there is uh, no radioactive substance in there. No tritium or uh, of, um, radium or anything like that. Which means uh, that in order to glow, you will have to expose them to light. Which might be a bit of an issue if the gun is stuck in a holster all day. But they do work quite well. And I guess this spares the um, French armed forces the whole headache of having to deal with radioactive materials issued out to every soldier that gets a handgun. Uh, taking the gun apart. will not actually reveal any great differences to a standard Gen 5 either, except for the fact that this gun has an extended slide release. We already knew that. Um, and yes, I disassembled it with a magazine in. Sue me. And finally, the trigger, well, uh, it's a Gen 5 trigger, which is obviously out of the box, just a lot nicer than the Gen 4. It's okay for a combat pistol. Um, obviously, it will never be a match trigger, but Glock actually advertises this as a 26 newton trigger, which would be something like 2.7 kilograms or almost six pound trigger. Uh, after a bit of wearing in, this one here is, um, more like 2.2 kilos, right? Um, or just under five pounds, like 4.8. Um, I mean, honestly, it's not bad. It's actually one of the nicer uh, out of the box stock Glock triggers I've ever felt. And I don't think I'm going to modify this. 
Well, what I'm wondering, given the relative uh, modularity of the Glock, is um, what modifications do the French let their soldiers do themselves? Like, um, if you're left-handed, are you allowed to switch over the mech release to the other side on your own? If you've got uh, larger hands, are you allowed to exchange the backstrap on your own? I seriously doubt it, because uh, going rooting around in there to change the mech release, that just spells disaster, and as for the backstrap, Yes, it is just a backstrap, but the backstrap retaining pin here is also the trigger housing pin. And uh, losing that is, well, it's a 50 cent part, but imagine uh, having to go to your sergeant and explaining to him that you lost the one thing that holds your trigger housing inside your pistol. Yeah, no, I don't think so. It's probably more job for like a unit level armorer. As for how to actually use this thing as a civilian, well, it's Glock 17, right? So nobody should be surprised that this isn't like an outside the waistband pistol sidearm uh, for hunting. I guess very few people are going to try and carry this concealed. You could if you wanted to, I guess. Uh, I've got one of those uh, Italian made Vega holsters with like a 15 degree cant and open bottom. So uh, 22 conversion slides and suppressors are an option. And I think that's probably the best setup for a civilian for one of these pistols. Obviously the French armed forces, they didn't uh, get leather holsters, they got um, US made Blackhawk holsters and a whole bunch of additional accessories to go along with the pistol. Uh, as for me, this is just like a hunting sidearm. So uh, I put on the medium sized grip extension with the beaver tail. And I'm running standard Gen 5 uh, 17 round max with the plus 2 base plate. Which actually means you can squeeze 20 in here, not just 19. Oh yeah, and I really, really, really love snap caps. As for how this actually shoots, well, uh, reliability is, is not an issue. It's a, it's a Glock. And accuracy, well, this is just uh, like a 10 meter air pistol target. Uh, it's a combat pistol, right? It, it doesn't have the best trigger in the world, it doesn't have the best sights in the world, but both are passable. Um, uh, this here is actually a good result, at least for me. And it's more accurate than the shooter, at least if that shooter is me. So, in conclusion... It's a Glock.